and you called us to abuse us. Just before the MAV stars received full access of their Instagram accounts, Tamara reportedly harassed her former co-stars while on a girls' night out. Now let's be frank, she abused those ladies. Ella, Megan from So Dramatic and Dominica all claimed Tamara called them from a private number. Saved message, 8.42 p.m. Megan, you fucking baloney cunt. Answer your phone. What are you scared of a private number for, dickhead? Saved message, 8.46 p.m. Megan, how do you sleep at night? Honestly, living like a troll on social media at other people's lives. Like, I honestly do not understand. I agree. Do you agree? Like, we all agree. There's a few of us here at the table, and we just don't understand how someone like you can leave that night. You must be sad, hey? You've got to go to bed at night thinking, I like you. Yeah. I still love you, Megan. I always do. I That audio that I just played was a snippet of Tam Tam's abuse to Megan who later involved the popo. Megan didn't have time for tomorrow's BS. Now fast forward to recent activity, Dom, Ella and Kate were all on an Instagram live and Dominica wanted to hold Kate accountable for her part slash role in that evening's shenanigans. Kate was at least an accessory in tomorrow's appalling behavior. Now, it's time for that audio you've been waiting for. Patiently, I might add. Private number, because you were sitting at a, a civilized dinner with people who actually respected you at that point, okay? And you called us to abuse us verbally, yeah. okay? And that's the so thing, though, I gave it the benefit of the doubt. If you're calling a bad edit, if you're calling a bad edit, we, we really see what's happening here. So, yeah. that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? She was oh, Tamara's okay in the first place, and I was like, you know what? Doesn't matter. I'm gonna put the show aside. Doesn't matter what happened on the show. Let's that just enjoy the night. Half an hour later, I'm like, hang on a minute. Um, mm. Right. Yeah. So it um, changed very quickly yeah. for you guys then. So oh, how did the how yeah. did the night end? When you left that restaurant in particular, yeah. when were those photos yeah. taken? Oh, that was before. What photos? Oh, that was no. That was at the before. first venue. That so before. that was before the dinner. Yeah. Yeah, so I was like, oh, God damn it, photos. <laughs> um, so after the restaurant, we went to, like, one place and then we went to another place and then we just literally went went home the week yeah. tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Whose yeah. house are you at? Is that your house or Ella's? This is my oh. little uh, house. Ah, that's is that your little house? Yeah. And, yeah. Um, so that's we're just cute. having a little girls' night and, and yeah. we, honestly – we're, we're just, we're trying to, we're, we're kind of uh, brainstorming our podcast at the moment. And that's the reason we came on oh the live. Oh my God, actually. I love that. But yeah. we, you know, I, I saw you on the live and I really wanted to get you on because, yeah, you know, all this shit that happened, Kate, and all I'm hearing about this bad edit thing, I think if anyone got a misconstrued edit, it was you. And yeah. I mean, I'm going to I didn't want to go on this. about the bad edit. Like I was literally like, you know what? If people can see, the people that know me know who I am, yeah. that's yeah. fine. I'm just going to, like, because you know what? If people watching the show, they don't even care about bad edits. They're like, whatever, we don't believe you, like you said. Well, but, I mean, deep yeah. down, really, exactly right. It's so it. When the show was airing, I was literally at home for two weeks, basically just crying the whole time <laughs> um, because I was literally like, what on earth is this? Um, yeah. But you know what? I've moved on. It's taken me a lot to move on, but I've moved on. I'm just trying to see more of the positives now, like, you know, people I'm meeting, the things I'm doing, like that sort of stuff. Like, yeah. you know what? Because it can be a fun time now. So try and not it can be, and it. it should be. You know what I mean? Look, yeah. I think it's the time now where you look at look at the positives and look at how you can grow from that experience. I mean, that's what I think every yeah. day when I wake up. I yeah. think, yeah. how am I going to better myself? How can I make a difference from the experience that I went through? And how yeah. can that kind of make me a better person, but then how can yeah. I, you know, if I can yeah. be a voice for people, then that's what I'll be, you know? Like, yeah. if I can... Even to tell people person, to stop bullying. 
Like, I, all the nasty comments that were written to me, not necessary. Like, if one person hears this and sticks twice before they write a nasty comment, then yay, we've achieved something. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, exactly. Because, you know what? Just don't write it. That sort of thing. Just, but exactly. And yeah. I think it's the key. Yeah. yeah. The easy, and I think in terms of comments. dating, I'm like off dating completely at this point. I think. Yeah, Beck was loving the Tommy she chat. Beck was like, "I love Tommy." Oh, Tommy. <laughs> Look, people were going to co and like tagging Tommy. Tommy, come on, Tommy. <laughs> but we'll see if anything comes out of that. Oh, I like yeah. him. He's good. Yeah, I he's reckon. Cutie. Yeah. He's a cutie. Yeah, he's a cutie, but let him, let he's him chase you. down the street one day here. Yeah, I saw him down the street, like, on, I live on Chapel Street, he right? And he was literally giving money to a homeless man. And then he sat down with him and he started talking. Oh. He started oh. talking to him. And he's I was like, so cute. Oh, yeah, it was so nice. I was going to write to his Instagram and I saw him going, I saw you giving money to this guy. It was so sweet. Because oh, you know what? He doesn't want to. Oh. Yeah, he helped out a homeless man. He was so nice. Aww. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think I'll date for a while now. I've been to a double dating. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, but, do I don't blame you. Um, I really don't blame you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dating's off the cards for a while. I think the show kind of takes it out of you. Yeah, That's I think the thing I put on the stand about maps is that yeah. it really does it. it it's when you're talking lot. about your emotions and your feelings for 24 seven for like three and a bit months. <laughs> yeah. How do yeah. you feel? What are you feeling? What's your feeling? For How do you feel about this day? person? Now? How do you feel about this person? <laughs> but I you think, start to well, just like not even know. Because we like invested so much time and energy into talking yeah. about relationships and a, a man. Now yeah. it's almost like it feels exhausting for me to go and meet someone new mm -hmm. and do that all over again. Yeah. Yeah, because it does, there was so it? much energy in maths, yeah, yeah. Um, with kind of Mitch and yeah. that whole situation, and as well for the three months of it airing, reliving it, and going yeah. through. Every, I'm exhausted still. Yeah, like watching it. But you two are the only couple we need. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I just said to Beth the other day, I go, these two need to stay single. Nothing against Brent, of course. Um, because <laughs> I need, I love them together. Like, they're good together. Like, we are, yeah. you know, I think. The best couple. If, it, if yeah. anything, it just shows that true friendships and true, true uh, girlfriends, mm. it, it, you know, having, having each other's yeah. backs, you can get through anything. Yeah. And I yeah. think that's why yeah. it was so relatable to people. And that's why people loved it so much. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I've got Beth. Because... Beth's my my other. <laughs> Beth's got my back. We love you, Beth. And We're I'm a couple. Just, I know, poor Beck. And I, I truly, I, I, I can't even begin to imagine how uncomfortable that situation was yeah. for you guys. Like, I mean, yes. I know how how hurtful it was for me, but for you yes. guys that lived it and had to mm. deal with it, and then obviously like obvious. the whole back. I didn't sleep for three days, Dom. I know. I didn't sleep I for three that. days, and I'm like, yeah, I was literally it like, oh. And then, you know, I was, and then, like, I feel like it's a good thing that we, I was like, Beck, it's because we've got a conscience, you know, this is why, and we, we feel like, and I said to Beck, why are we feeling so guilty over something yeah. that we didn't even do, but we still were, like, so, yeah, yeah it's, um, yeah, just situations like that after the show and everything that's happened, like, it's, like, not necessary. We've been through enough, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah like. Exactly. There's enough emotions. And, and it wasn't fair. Like, you were just going on a girls' night. You wanted to just have dinner and drink. I'm like, like come along. You'll have so much fun, Beck. It's going to be the best night, Beck. Don't stay home. Come. Sorry, Beck. Yeah. Sorry, Beck. <laughs> yeah. Drag right, You live, it. you learn. Yeah. You live, you learn, baby. You exactly. You do. You do. Yeah. And sometimes, you know what? You're, you're better off staying home <laughs> than In going some out. Cases, yes. <laughs> yeah. But, you yeah. know, then also, yeah. babe. You can't stop yourself because there are a couple of dickheads in the world. And I've always said that and I'll yeah. say it yeah. right now. You know, there's yeah. always there's always gonna be some dickheads out there. And and I've said I said there's a really amazing Samantha Jones quote. If I worried about what every bitch had to say about me, I'd never leave the house. And it is so, oh, that's true. so true. You can't so live true. your life by what you yeah. think other people are gonna dictate you by. You live your life. Because life oh, Beth, is too short. That's so true. <laughs> Beth's like, Dom knows everything. She's, a, she's calling no, you Dr. Phil. She thinks you're better than Dr. Phil. No, but it is so true, though, because life no, is too I, short. No, I agree with everything you say. Every time you, you know, say life something, life is too like, short and life is yeah. beautiful. Like, I know. The it's friendships so true. you can make, the relationships you can have, and yeah. just the beauty yeah. of, of out, the outdoors and, and what the world has to give us, I think life's yeah. too short. 
And yeah, yeah there are gonna, they're always going to be dickheads, no matter where you go. There are going to be haters. There are going to yeah. be haters, but there are going to be lovers always. too. So, always. Yeah. And people yeah. say, oh, you, you, got, you got off good. You don't have haters. Mate, I'll show you the haters. There's always oh. going to be idiots saying stuff. Yeah, when it's Alice not. said that before about her tongue, I actually turned it back and I'm like, oh, did she get negative comments? I was like, about I would mom. never have yeah. thought that. Babe, yeah, how no odd. matter what, you're always going to get negative comments. But you know what? The way yeah. I look at it now is, please keep giving me engagement. It's great for my yeah. Instagram. I love it. Yeah, Thank yeah. Why so do you care much. so much about me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've had, you... some, I've had some real. My first negative comment, I can remember getting it. And um, oh, well, we're going to show Ed. And I was so emotional. I was literally like, oh my God, this person doesn't like me. Like, like what you said. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. I cried yeah. and cried. And now I get a negative comment. It's just like, whoo. Straight over the head. You know what it is? Like, as humans, human nature, we, you know, as pack animals, we want to be included, okay? Yeah, and we so want to be liked too. We want to be liked. Yeah. And I've had yeah. this conversation with Ella many times. Like, when yeah. someone doesn't like you, it, it hits a certain part of you that really triggers a lot, right? Yeah, And yeah. that's why I have a lot of trauma from that from high school. I have a lot of trauma from that from my family, from being, yeah. you know, from from a variety of things and i think yeah I feel when that. you I get feel that comments, too. you could get a million you i could get a hundred beautiful comments right and then you yeah. get one comment that's shit but why is it the bad comment that sticks with you yeah because i know right we are pack that. animals yeah as humans we are pack animals we want to be loved we want to be yeah. included and when we yeah. aren't it's hard for us to deal with but yeah it's all about growth and learning and being able to be like you know what that's their opinion. It's okay. I know who I am. My family knows who I am. My close friends yeah. know who I am. They know I'm good. Yeah. yeah. And really, yeah. when it comes down to it, you're not going to ever please everyone in life.